unfortunately, you are in a range that you can be corrected. So that's why he recommended it. So as he said, the doctor said, it's not the myopia. So mm -hmm. since the hyperopia takes a little longer to recover, mm -hmm. and it's, it may not gonna be the targeted uh, eyesight we all want to have. Mm -hmm. It might be gonna be a little less than we want, but then we're still gonna be correct. Amazing. Anything better than now? Yeah. <laughs> so I'll be so happy. <laughs> since we're in the, you're in the age of a uh, verge of like presbyopia, but it seems like you're not actually came to that point yet. You're just having hyperopia, so, which is a good, good news. So, but anyways, all of us are getting older, even without, even after having this, maybe in 10 some years, we'll, we'll still we'll I start understand. having it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, both of your eyes looks like having a thin layer of tear. Which means it, it looks like you're having some dryness mm -hmm. on both eyes. It's, so it's not really. There usually there's a lot of circles, but the circle is not really finished right. So it's, it means that you're having a little unstable, less dry. It's mm -hmm. kind of dry. So it's not a problem at all for the surgery itself. But okay. then after the surgery, you could probably feel dryness. Okay. Anyways, you is it possible to recover the dryness with the PRP a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. So it's the same laser using in the smileizing as well. It's a femtosecond laser, but the only difference is how you're going to do it. So in the LASIK, you make a flap just like that. You make a huge, like not huge, but 20 millimeters of incision that's treated. But it's not like taking it away. It's, it's you're going to take a flip it back on your eyes. So it's going to take less less time than LASIK, right? Okay. I think this is important because it's going to be actually a fairly larger amount of incision compared to smile LASIK. So mm -hmm. you really have to. Uh, not rub your eyes I know. At, mm -hmm. at any cost. Oh, so they're going to use a, 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 a they call it con contra. Contra. Okay. Contra. So it's, it's, it's to actually customize how they're going to do it so that they can have the best output for you. That's why they use it. So, uh, your case, it's a little higher range that we have to correct. Mm -hmm. So it may be like he, he already said, she already said it. We, they're doing their best to do it just one time, but it might as much as we want it to be. But if you satisfy even with just one time, you don't have to do it. But there's still a possibility, even if it's corrected after surgery, it might go a little you know, backwards mm -hmm. again. And how long span of a time would, it, would I see that it had gotten worse again? It's gonna take at least more than several years to have that process, so it's not gonna be right away. First of all, hello. Hi. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. I'm very happy that I've been approved. Mm hmm Perfect. So, can you please tell us again, like, what did the doctor tell you? Yeah, so the doctor told me that my eyes are dry, mm. so it will be very helpful that they will apply um, the, the new technology of the PRP. The PRP? Mm -hmm. That that will be very helpful mm -hmm. and that and that I qualify for the LASIK. Perfect. So, after your vision gets corrected, what would you say that is like something that you're the most excited about after surgery? Just having a more clear vision without mm. needing glasses be amazing i'd be so happy and grateful that's perfect you know what time. seeing my husband mm. without glasses will be the best thing ever that is true. before we continue check out tokaimedical.com for more information before the surgery, blood will be extracted from the patient to make PARP platelet-rich plasma eye drops. After blood has been collected from the patient, the platelets are separated in a centrifuge. The PARP eye drops promote corneal epithelial wound healing, which helps in ensuring a smooth recovery process. It is a good source of cytokines and proteins that help to reduce inflammation, prevent infections, and have natural analgesic actions to reduce pain. After collecting blood from the patient, local anesthesia through eye drops will be given to the patient. LASIK Laser Assisted in Cytokeratomalusis is a laser vision correction procedure designed to help correct refractive errors like astigmatism, hyperopia, and myopia. It's one of many vision correction surgeries that work by reshaping the patient's cornea, the clear front part of the eye, so that light focuses on the retina in the back of the eye. When light doesn't focus on the retina the way it should, the vision is blurry. Doctors call this a refractive error. 
The basic types includes nearsightedness or myopia, farsightedness or hyperopia, and astigmatism. In a LASIK procedure, a corneal flap is created using a femtosecond laser, after which the cornea is reshaped with an excimera laser. LASIK quickly improves vision as most patients can see clearly after the surgery. It ensures a quick recovery with long-lasting results as patients can resume their everyday activities a day or two after the surgery. The doctor will mark the exact place for incision on the cornea. With the help of an instrument called microkeratome, thin flap is created in the cornea. A suction ring may be used to prevent movement of the eye that could affect the quality of the flap. The doctor will perform a quick checkup to see if the surgery went well. It's okay. It, is, it will be very blurry now. It will take time. And how, how, how do you think it went? Mm, actually, we cannot find the stain. No. Maybe um, one to two weeks later, we have to check your visual. Okay. Behavior. And is it okay if I blink? Like everything? Can I do everything normal? Yeah, blink? you or can do open? everything. I can blink? Yes, it's okay. it's okay. Just not really hard. Just okay, normal agent.